over 2,000 years ago, God sent His only begotten Son to be born of a virgin so that He could make a way for all men to be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ paid the ultimate price on the cross as a payment for the sins of mankind. The Bible says, But He was wounded for our transgressions, He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon Him, and with His stripes we are healed. So what must you do to be saved? First, realize and admit that you have sinned against God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verses 10 through 12, As it is written, There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. In verse 23 we read, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But perhaps you feel that you are a good person and that God will one day weigh your good works against the bad things you have done. Maybe you believe that you can earn heaven because you are not a bad person. If this is how you believe, then you need to read what Jesus said in Mark chapter 2, verse 17. When Jesus heard it, he saith unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Timothy 1.15, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. The truth is, dear friend, Jesus didn't die on the cross for good people. He died and shed his blood for sinners. The Bible says in 1 Peter 3.18, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. In Romans chapter 5, verses 6-10 through 10, we read, For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure, for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 7.10, for godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. One day everyone will have to stand before God and be judged. Romans 14, 11-12 says, For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. In Hebrews 9, 27 through 28, we read, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Friend, can you honestly say that you are ready for this judgment? John 14, 6 says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. In Acts 4.12 we read, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Jesus died on the cross to provide the way for man to be saved. There is no other way to heaven. But what happens if you reject Jesus Christ? 
and trust in your own self-righteousness. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus says in Matthew 25.41, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Revelation 20 verses 14 and 15 says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So then what must you do to be saved? The answer is found in Acts 16.31. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. You must have faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross as the payment for your sin. Ephesians 2.8 and 9 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 10, 9 through 10 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. John chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 says For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then please pray this prayer. Dear God, I know that I am a sinner and that I can never be good enough on my own to earn heaven. I don't want to go to hell when I die. I put my faith in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that he shed on the cross as the payment for my sin. Help me to live for you, dear God, from now on. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says in Romans 10.13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you have put your faith in Jesus Christ, then you have passed from death to life, from an eternity in hell to an eternity with God in heaven. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 1 John chapter 5 verses 10 through 13 says, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. This written record of Jesus Christ is found in the King James Version for English-speaking people. But if you still have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you must realize that your decision to accept or reject Him will send you to one of two places. So what will it be?